Hello everyone. In this video, we will see what are quick messages in email client in ServiceNow. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't already activated email functionality in your service now, please click on the top right corner and I have created a detailed video of how and what are the options to activate emails in service now on your personal developer instance. Also, I have created another video how to activate email client in your service now instance on a particular table. Please click on the top right corner for that video. Now we will quickly see what are quick messages. So quick messages are templates that can be used to pre-populate the email body. Users with ITL role are able to add quick messages. So as the definition says, it, these are templates and if you want users to use certain templates like disclaimer or maybe users can get their own quick messages created by admins and they can use those templates again and again. So these are called quick messages in service now. We'll just quickly see in service now how can we navigate to them and create them. We are in service now and under email client you can click on quick messages and then click on new to create a new quick message. And we have multiple fields here. The first one is the title. So what do you want to name the quick message? For example, I can say disclaimer. And then I will make this as active. So that means it will be active and available according to our conditions. Next is user. Only the selected users can use this quick message. So if we select one of the users, only they would be able to see these messages. If we leave it blank, it will be available for all the users. But if you want it to restrict it to some particular group, then you can select the assignment group and it will be available only for them. Next comes the table. If you want this quick message to be available only on a single table, for example, incident or the change or any other, table then you can select the table and if you leave this blank it will be available on all of the tables or all of the forms so you have to be careful about this and we are creating a disclaimer so let's assume it should be available for all of the tables but if you select for incident it will be available only on the incident table and further you can put conditions on that and then you can put a body here so this is an internal email so maybe this is the disclaimer for your organization or anyone and then under select variables you can add fields but we haven't selected any table and none of the fields will appear here so you will have to select incident table to add some fields here we'll see that later now i will save this i will go to the incident table and open one of the records let's open this and you can click on these three dots and then click on the email. And as soon as I click on email, a new pop up will appear here. And then you can see the disclaimer is coming up under quick messages here. And then as soon as you select this, the template will automatically come here. We can use the HTML format as well in the quick messages to show any HTML colors or images or anything what we want. Now let's create another quick message by typing quick messages here. And I will create one for the incident table. I will select new here. And I can name it as maybe incident quick message and I will mark it as true. And I will keep it available for all the users and groups. But I will select now the table name as incident. I will type incident here. And then I can give the body of the email. And I can say this is the incident. And then I can give the incident number of here using these fields. So we had selected the table name as incident here. So that is why all the fields of this table will appear here and we can select any of the fields which we can. And I can say this is the incident number and maybe I can make it as bold italics or an underline just to show that we can apply HTML as well here and we can color these as well if we want. I will save this now. And as soon as I save this, 
it should appear on the incident form. I will refresh this page and then I will click on these three dots and a new quick message should appear here and we can see incident QM here and I will click on this and we can see it has shown me the current incident number and the HTML is also working fine. So if you have any questions regarding quick messages, please do let me know in comments. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please do subscribe to my channel.